few minutes back, we just witnessed Landon Mutande launching yet another exciting cloud based product. The guys here, we bought the CEO, Mr. Never Knew It, who's going to be just picking the details as far as this development is concerned. Thank you so much, Chief, uh, and uh, well done on this uh, very launch. But people want to understand, in short, simple words, what exactly was transpiring as far as the launch is concerned. Thank you very much for that. This, this is another example of the strength of, of partnership. So today we've launched our partnership with the Oracle and here we are, we're showcasing the capabilities of Oracle uh, cloud infrastructure. Nadem Tande is proud to be uh, one of the leading uh, organizations that believes that everything will eventually go into the cloud. So we're actually showing to our partners and customers what can be done uh, by this cloud infrastructure. What it does as well, it reduces the, the cost of investment because they are moving from uh, on-premise infrastructure, which is a capital investment, to OPEX, where they are just renting this, this infrastructure. But what it also does is it enhances the security. You see, for, as of now, one of the major preoccupations of anyone who is in the technology space is around security. And if you don't have security, you can't then be able to operate well. But what we have now shown that with the, the OCI, there is enhanced security, there is enhanced performance. The customers can actually sleep well at night fully knowing that we, that them tied it together with the Oracle, are looking after their, their data and looking after it so securely. Uh, but just just to, to look into the uh, cloud-based services, what what exactly are you offering? Are you offering service? Are you offering storage? Are you offering what? So so it's it's actually cloud-based storage. But this storage is now all the workloads will be on the Oracle cloud. So that's really what we are we, we are saying we are taking you from having on-premise storage to actually going on to the Oracle Oracle cloud for storage, for also having your workloads being processed in there, and also for enhanced security. Is it mainly database based storage or also also taking into files? It's, it's all, all, all manner of, 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 of storage capabilities, whether it's database, whether it's files, uh, it, it, it all is going to be processed out of, out, out of the cloud. Mm. What, what are you looking after as far as the market share, specifically maybe Zim, local, uh, regional, uh, how, how, how is the outlook like? So, so as, as, I, as, as I mentioned in my presentation, what we've noted, particularly after COVID, uh, it's been the great desire to migrate from on-premise to, to the cloud. So we've had quite a number of inquiries across, across the, the, the different sectors of the, of the economy. But most of the inquiries at the moment are coming from financial services sector. That's where most of the, the inquiries are coming through. And we are actually seeing the, great, the bigger appetite from that sector to migrate to the cloud. But also seeing some of the organizations, the larger organizations, uh, particularly those that are listed on the Zimbabwe Stock Exchange, also uh, coming on board in terms, of, in terms of cloud services. We already are hosting a lot of these, uh, of, of, of these companies, but we are hosting them on, the local, on our own local cloud. As I mentioned, the Danem Tande has got five data centers in Zimbabwe. So some of that infrastructure is hosting uh, some of these companies. But beyond that, because Oracle is uh, one of the trusted cloud providers across the globe, and as you heard that we are expanding our services beyond Zimbabwe. So we're looking at it, it, it using this same infrastructure in our uh, a company in, in Botswana, we've now established in Namibia. We'll do the same when we go to Zambia, Malawi, and, and I also mentioned that we've got aspirations to do something in, in, in Tanzania. Let's pick figures here. Uh, out, uh, approximately how much has been invested as far as this uh, old uh, Oracle, Dandem Chande, uh, 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 deal is concerned? Yeah. So the beauty about, about cloud uh, services is that it's the capital light. In other words, you pay as you go. So what, what, what Danem Tande and Oracle have done is just to open the, the way for our, for, our, for our customers to be able to move into, in, in, into the cloud. We as Danem Tande at the moment, we haven't invested on on-premise uh, uh, platform with so far as Oracle is concerned. But as you heard in the concluding remarks from Lloyd, that we've now, as of last week, also signed an on-premise Oracle partnership, which will speak to the data sovereignty that a lot of the uh, uh, partners were asking about. That will now have a capability within our, our Dande 
a DC to have on-premise uh, Oracle, Oracle, Oracle servers. And once, once we have scoped it properly, I'll be able to come back to you and say it's costing us 100,000 or 200,000 to actually have them here. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest issues has been data security threats. A lot of uh, data has been uh, uh, under siege. Uh, so far, how secure is this platform as far as big uh, corporate and enterprise data targeting? And how safe are they? And have you ever been uh, at any risk uh, lately or in the past years as far as data threats are concerned? So, 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 so one of the advantages or one of the reasons why uh, organizations should actually move to the cloud or move to our own DC is really the level of security that we have built into, into, the, into, into the facility in terms of the types of firewalls, in terms of the monitoring mechanisms that we have. Over and above that, I'm sure you heard that we're also running a, our own security operating center. And that center is not only focused on client uh, digital assets, all of our assets are on the center. So all of our assets are being monitored by a group of qualified engineers on a 24-7 basis. So rest assured that uh, once you are working with us, whether on our own premise uh, infrastructure or on Oracle Cloud, the security, like I said, you, we can put our hand on our heart and say, this is trusted, this is going to be reliable. In terms of organizations, and, 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 and this is uh, information that uh, is not normally publicly shared, but there are quite a number of organizations that have been attacked uh, for ransomware. We also, I, unfortunately I can't give you the names, but we also know some of our partners that have been attacked and they've, Bitcoin has been asked of, of, of them and they've paid yeah. because their data would have been obviously compromised. Is compromised. So, 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 so it's, it's a growing, it's a growing uh, problem that we are seeing. And the reason why, and, and we've been talking with other partners, the reason why they are doing this, especially for a market like Zimbabwe, because in the main we are a dollar economy. So if, if, if Bitcoin is asked of you and uh, we are a dollar economy, we've got an ability to pay. So, and there has been obviously increased uh, traffic, uh, internet traffic, because a lot of, a lot of people post-COVID have actually realized that they need to transform, they need to digitalize. And, and, and that obviously opens up opportunities for, 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 for cyber crimes as well. Yeah. All right, Alonis, is another question from the floor? Uh, just one. You, you said this will help uh, your clients reduce costs in terms instead of running um, on campus in yes. the cloud. Yes. But what sort of margins are we talking about? So, 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 so if you're moving on to the cloud, it means uh, if you if you somebody who is, believes that you need to be 100% on the cloud, it means you will not need your server completely because everything is running off the cloud. So as you can imagine, the amount of investments that have happened in most of these organizations, buying servers and buying storage and all that, and a situation where you now just, what, what do I I'll call it? use as you go? So it obviously opens up a lot of, a lot of budget that can be directed to other, to, other, to other needs within the organization. So that's, that's really the, the most important thing that, uh, that we are seeing uh, by moving on to, on to the cloud. It, it means we can redirect finances and use them for other more needing areas than, than investing on hardware. Okay. Thank, right, you. So thank you so much. I do fully appreciate it and I, I do thank you for having us and, and joining us on this short brief as far as the new development that you've just done there. Standing Chandra in Oracle. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Nemanwe. I fully appreciate it. Always a pleasure, brother. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much.